News at 10 in HD starts now. We are Iowa. Welcome to Local 5 News, home of WeAreIowa.com. I'm Stephanie Engelson. And I'm Jacob Pecklo in for Jack Miller tonight. Developing for you right now, neighbors say this car is linked to an awful crime in their area. They filed police reports saying a man has been walking around their neighborhood exposing himself to children. Tonight, that home surveillance video is being put to some good use. A Local 5's Angelina Salcedo is live from the Des Moines neighborhood where this is all happening. Residents say they are fed up and they want the man to be arrested. Well, this man's actions severely traumatized a 7 and 10 year old girl. The moms I spoke with today say that their children are scared to walk in this neighborhood because of what he did. She was walking just to her friend's house and heard a man going pss, 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 and she looked over and he was completely exposed with his pants down to his ankles. He's a predator. These moms are on high alert after their daughters experienced the unthinkable. Not close to home, especially not to my daughter. But that's one reason parents should always talk to their kids about stuff like this. Jenny says her 10 year old daughter was scared, upset, and angry after she saw the man. I just want this man caught. She was shocked to find out her daughter wasn't the only one. My daughter came to me and told me that there was a man in the neighbor's tree looking over our fence. My daughter then told me that he exposed, the gentleman exposed himself to her. Rashana's daughter is just seven years old. That wasn't the only time the man was around her home. Her kids saw the same car driving around the neighborhood for a second time. He was at first at Tiffin and Bedoin, going down Tiffin. Surveillance video catches him driving down the street and then backing up after he realizes he was spotted. Rashana followed and they came face to face. Said, hey, backed my car up a little bit and then he took off. Now both parents are left wondering if this man they consider dangerous will be caught. I think he's working up the courage to possibly take one of the children. It's ridiculous. Now, both moms tell me they filed police reports for their incidents, but they think there are more victims out there. Des Moines police say they've stepped up patrolling in this area, and their investigation is still ongoing. Live in Des Moines, Angelina Salcedo, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. All right, scary story. Angelina, thank you so much.